welcome to my first Artist Alley vlog. This time we'll be going to Anime Revolution, also known as Any Revo. This is the day before I set up and I'll be bringing two large luggages and two small luggages. Usually I have one luggage for my display and one for my charm and sticker stock and a carry-on size luggage for my prints. For my first luggage, I usually like to put all of my charms and sticker stock in there as well as other small things like packing bags and my acrylic stand to fill up the spaces in between. And for my second luggage, I usually pack everything I need for my display and setup. The large box are my cube panels and display prints. And the other small boxes are things like my business card, fairy lights, tablecloth, table runner, etc. We're all done! Now we're ready to go for tomorrow's setup! It is now day zero and we're on our way to set up at the convention! Any Revo is hosted in Vancouver Convention Center in Vancouver, BC, Canada. It is the biggest anime convention in BC and this is my second year attending. Last year, I had a blast. It's also a local con for me, so we decided to come back again. It's also got a beautiful scenery. All the more reasons to visit this con. The setup for this convention starts at 5pm. The check-in process was surprisingly smooth. Last year, we entered through the parking lot side door and had to go up and down escalators while dragging our luggages around. But this year, they had a few staff from the convention itself guiding us to the elevator which took us straight to the convention floor. But since there is only one elevator, we did have to wait in line for a bit and once we got out of the elevator, we were right next to the exhibitor check-in booth which also had a line but the line moved quick and it took us about 30 minutes from getting off Uber to getting to our table. Honestly, not bad at all. And setup is all done. See you on day one. Today is Friday, and by the time we arrived, the line to the exhibitor hall was already getting really long. Off to a good start.
we got a chance to capture the line outside before we open as well. This is the line for attendees, badge pickup, and oh man, this line is insanely long. I heard it took about an hour to get your badge. So this convention has vendor hall and artist alley all in one room. So they have artist alley in the far side of the hall, and our booth was located pretty far in the back. Later on, we were told by attendees that most people got too tired and didn't make it all the way to the end. Here's a quick look at the back of my booth. I've tried out multiple ways to store my charms in the past, and this is the first time I've used these cardboard containers, and I have to say, they work super well. I was able to fit my entire stock, and with some cube dividers, I could fit 6 in one cube. But it really helped speeding up the checkout process for me, and kept everything organized all weekend. They can also be flattened for easier storage for traveling, so I strongly recommend trying them out. Day 1 overall was pretty good for a Friday. The hall was filled most of the day and everyone was ready to spend money. Day 2 was a bit of a weird day. First of all, it was very hazy, and that's because of the wildfire happening a couple hours away. Not sure if that affected attendance, but it definitely didn't feel as crowded. Maybe it has to do with my booth location too. Honestly, I didn't make as much as I thought I'd make for a Saturday, especially given how well Friday went for me, but either way, it's still a decent day. We decided to pick up some ramen for dinner tonight. I always eat at this ramen place whenever I visit downtown Vancouver. It's always got a huge line and we waited for about an hour this time, but it's really worth the wait. The flavor of the broth is so good and it's fully customizable. Strongly recommend! Day 3 was the last day of the con and also rebooking day. This con allows you to pay in advance to secure a table for next year, but this rebooking process is horrible. We were told that rebooking starts at 9am and since I live about an hour away, I got there right around 9 and the line was already so long it took me 2 hours before it was my turn. I barely made it back to my table 10 minutes before we opened, and when I was done, the line was still really, really long, and there was no way they could have finished everyone's rebooking before we opened. That caused a lot of panic, and hopefully they could adjust it next year. still had a pretty decent crowd. I was surprised since usually last day is pretty dead. Overall, my profit this year was quite a bit less than last year, but since they'd expanded the artist alley by adding about 50% more tables, that was kind of expected. But this is a local con for me and I love the crowd, so I'll always be coming back and would still recommend anyone to table at this con. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Bye.